Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, coming you, to you today with a creation on that MDF butterfly wall hanging, I guess it is. I'm going to do this for one of my nieces. Um, and I've got, I've bought quite a few of those cuttings so I can do all the little girls in our family one and I've got a little girl that particularly loves purples and I'm going to put some gold with it because I've been working with these colours the last few days. So these were an MDF butterfly cutout that I received in uh, that I purchased in Australia from the Kmart. I know that uh, lots of countries say that uh, Kmart is no longer but we we do still have Kmart here, so that's where they were from. And I think they were very cheap, like $3 or something. So, um, hence I bought a, quite a few so I can give them to um, family members. Okie doke, what I'm doing here is I'm just taping that string. I could, my husband said, I'll just take it off and we'll put it back on after but I just thought no I'm going to tape it down so as it doesn't get in the paint and those kind of little levers I've put on with the masking tape as was so you see to actually be able to pull the butterfly up because I'm going to do a butterfly bubble wrap dip try saying that when you've had a few very quickly um Okay, so I've got my bubble wrap with the bubbles facing upwards and I'm taping it down. It just helps when you're pulling your piece off the bubble wrap that it stops the um, bubble wrap from lifting. So that's the theory anyway. So that's what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> I'm just tracing around the butterfly like that just to give me an idea of where to layer the paint that I want to dip in so I don't, you know, waste paint going um, further out than I need to. So that's just a little thing that I, I like to do if I remember to do it. So theoretically, it's supposed to lift up like that. So now for the good bits is filling in the colours where my butterfly will be dipped into. So today I... Um, I bought this um, it's just a fabric conditioner but I just so love the colors on the actual container of the uh, dark plum purple sort of um, and the gold so I thought well I know my niece loves purple so I'll put in some purple with the gold to make it pop so there's quite a few different um, purples in here there's my berry delicious which is a mix I mix myself that is um, deep red phalo blob of phalo blue or dark blue and a little blob of black if you want it to go a real dark cherry so I will just start layering the colors in here you can kind of be willy-nilly or you can um, sort of do the thing that I do chevrons in a V because they seem to come out um, almost like feathers when you lift your piece up so we'll layer the colours. Like 
bits of layered some metallic gold and uh, well the first one I layered was my champagne gold which is 50% gold 50% silver and now this is just the metallic gold um, I'm putting in here and it had some ultraviolet purple and then I'll probably finish it off with just the purple I'll go from there and um, surely hopefully this will that's it yeah the real dark purple or is that my berry delicious I can't remember now but it's a purple of purple kind this next gold is out of the the Montmartre pre-made paints it's a really very vibrant gold and I just love it so I'm adding a bit of that hopefully that this gold will just really give those purples a pop with all the different golds I've got in well that's what I'm hoping for so you never know till you try it so let's go for it that's sure something I could use now I'm just going to give the actual MDF butterfly just a little quick coat of white on there. I kind of guess like a bit of undercoat. Um, it's probably not at all required, but I thought being so I'm giving it as a gift, I'll just go over it and um, with the white and give it that base coat. So it'll be ready to go, Flo. Now for the good bit, so I'm holding those little levers like those little ears that I've made at the back. So hopefully it allows me to pull that MD up, MDF up easily. Um, that is the plan. So what I'm doing at present is just making sure you go over with your fingers or your hand and just press it in firmly. But you know, don't overly zealous because if you, when you do lift it up, if there's any missing bits of paint on the uh, pl platform that you've pressed it onto, you can always fix it with doing a balloon kiss or whatever on there. As you see, I'm trying to keep the back fairly clean, but what I might do when it's fully finished is paint the back uh, black or purple or something, just so it's nicely finished at the back after taking that sticker off there. So the thing is now is to try and pull this up with my little bunny ear things I've made, but it's not quite happening. So I have to kind of tease it up, which is not what I want because it's better when you pull it up and over. Well, there you go, look at that. It is actually quite lovely. So, and I've got a perfect butterfly there. But there you go, That's it is a beauty really and um, when this is dry to give that an actual coat of resin it really will pop it really will pop so i'm going to give just a few tiny butterfly kisses in strategic areas and like i said it's your art your rules your way you do as you choose if you don't want to give it any butterfly kiss butterfly kisses oh well, butterfly kisses they are butterfly kisses um then you don't do so but of course I want to and that's what my little nieces will love about this so I just pottering along and um, very happy with the results from that so I will show you when it's fully dry um, but I think I'll leave it to resin it for a week or two because I will be having visitors come stay with me for a week so I have to give myself a few days off I hope you enjoyed that because I certainly enjoyed making it. I will say bye for now and I will be back tomorrow. Losing track of time with you Another peach pie sunset view Sleeping in the afternoon No place to be And nothing to prove That's sure something I could use. A 
secure for the 